戦い。はい。おお。いや。うわー。イビーヒーロー。So long, gay Bowser. I'm scared, Evie. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Here we go! Ooh. Hey, Jayla, are you gonna get the Evie set? I'm trying, damn it! Finally, after countless whiffs on pre-orders, countless L's on the lottery, it is in my hands. It is the Evolution set. This is easily the hottest Japanese Pokemon card product of 2021. Bar none, is it any surprise? Look at this absolutely beautiful illustration. Drawn by artist named Mari Inoue. Inoue-san was actually a runner-up in the Illustrator Grand Prix from 2019. So if you guys are familiar with the Illustrator Charizard, before that, there was the Illustrator Gardevoir. Inoue-san entered with this awesome illustration of Eevee. And while they didn't win, Creatures Inc. were like, hey, that's good, that's damn good. We want you to draw the product illustration for the Eevee set. And Inoue-san was like, I got you fam. Drew this absolute stunner. You can see here, it's got all the evolutions on it. It is super cool. It's even got a fampy. You'll see when I open this thing up and I'm gonna rip into this thing. I'm totally ripping into this thing. I've had enough. Look, you guys know how I feel about keeping things sealed. It just ain't for me. And I don't care that this thing is super expensive. It was really hard to get. Actually, it wasn't hard to get. It was just really expensive to get. But hey, the seal is cracked on this thing. I'm super keen. Two booster boxes of EV heroes. You slide it to the left. Oh, this is good. Oh, oh. Oh, that's a baseball. Pop the hood on this thing and you will see, look at that, that illustration is just all over it. There's our two booster boxes of EV heroes. I am gonna crack into some of these today. You best believe I'm gonna go for some of those special arts. What do we got here? This is a deck case, so I'm gonna open this up because usually there's card dividers inside. So the illustration wraps around this whole thing, which is really cool. Hey, you can see Sylveon's moved up to the bridge there with the Roma lady. Uh, there's the Glaceon, so that's pretty, oh, that's Poggers. Can we get some Poggers in the chat? Inside, yeah, we do have the card dividers. So again, oh, look at that. So you put it side by side, you can see. You'll use this deck case if you actually just want to flex on your opponent and be like, yeah, I got the Eevee set. What are you going to do about it? All right, you got card sleeves as well. And these are also adorned with that illustration by Inoue-san. And again, you get 64 of these. The brown on the outside actually looks a little bit different to what I was expecting, but hey. You can see here the illustrations actually condensed a little bit. The Sylveon on the bridge again, so everyone squishes in a bit. You wouldn't really use these to protect cards in your collection. Again, these are more of a flex if you, you're gonna pack your deck in these sleeves. You're basically telling your opponent, I'm rich and I'm gonna beat you in style. So that's what you would use these for. Okay, but this, this is what has made everybody go absolutely bonkers. It is the Espeon VMAX special art, illustrated by none other than Koiki Saito, one of my favorite artists. You may be familiar with some of the illustrations. They drew the statue Arceus Dialga Palkia card from Alter Genesis. They also drew the Mew from the Mythical and Legendary Dreamshine collection. That's CP5. So I'm pretty sure that was a promo in like 2016. I'm taking this out. There's no way I'm keeping this in its plastic. Definitely going in a binder. I'm not going to grade this. I mean, I can't be bothered. I want to see this thing in all... Oh my God, I've got to be careful. I want to see this thing in all... Jesus. I just want to see this thing in all its glory and just like look at it and be like... Oh my god, you're beautiful. I'm shaking. I'm actually shaking. This has made people go absolutely troppo. Oh, look at that shine. Look at that shine. This promo has done things to people. A fantastic illustration. Uh, if I'm going to make that Attack on Titan reference, I'm going to say it's a reference to Season 1. You probably just want to leave it there because, yeah, it gets pretty dark when you get to Season 4. No issues with the centering. Maybe a little bit left heavy, but again, I really don't care. And as always, the product packaging does double as a card storage box. It does fit 700 Japanese cards, less English cards because English cards are thick. One really cool thing you can do if you're a ball eyes, you can actually stack three of these card storage boxes left to right, and you can see the full illustration in all of its glory. I actually bought these secondhand for 380 yen. Best 380 yen I've ever spent in my damn life. I'm gonna put that on the shelf. It's gonna look beautiful. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna be like, hey, that's nice. That makes me feel happy, and I'm glad I did that. But there you have it. That's what's inside the EV set. You do also have two booster boxes of EV heroes. 
I am going to crack into a box of this. I need that Umbreon VMAX special art. I'm going to find it. There's really not much more to say about EV Heroes that I haven't said before, except that it's Poggers. It came out on the 28th of May, 2021. It retails for 4,950 yen. Good luck finding it for that much. At the time of recording this video, it's about 8,000, 9,000 yen. Just wait a little bit. The prices will come down over time. It's got 69 cards in the main set, 32 secret rares. 12 of those are special arts, which is actually insane and it's got the expansion mark s6a all right let's crack this thing open no reseals on this channel i really need to think more about the words that i say we pop the hood on this bad boy we got 30 booster packs of eevee heroes damn look at that nice 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 illustration there we think that one's been done by five barn graphics because it is the same sort of art style that you'll see on the cards inside. I thought it was done by Hyogen Oske, but I might have got that one wrong. Jumping into this one, this is maybe like the fifth or so box. Every single card inside is beautiful, whether it's a V, VMAX, or just a common or uncommon. But you're gonna see here an absolute fantastic good time if you can get a hold of it. It's been tough to get a hold of. So we got Shizukumo, Shibibiru, Maridudi, Snow Leaf Badge, and behind that we got Perugium. I should say guys, don't buy loose packs of EV Heroes. I've been asked a few questions about it. Try and avoid it as best you can. I'm gonna tell you why. We got Rotomu, Onishizukumo, Goronda. I like this one for Pangoro. Gorotsuki is the Japanese word for like thug or hoodlum. So Pangoro, I guess he's like the leader of a gang or he's got like thug ties. Who knows, man? So behind that, first rare card. Watashiraga, the Elder Ghost. This is a really cool card. Ties in with three of the other cards in this set that are commons and uncommon. They always get rare cards. And Furate behind that. So because this is such an in-demand set, basically when you see people selling loose packs, and this isn't for everybody, this isn't for every sale of a loose pack, but generally what's happening is whoever's opened up that booster box has found the super rare. It is always one super rare at least per booster box. So they've probably found the super rare and then they're selling the rest of the packs because it's super, super easy to sell packs of EV heroes because everybody wants it. So if you're buying loose packs of it, you're probably buying the leftovers from somebody else's booster box and it's unlikely you're gonna find a super rare from those packs. So just something to be careful of. We got Mariru, we got Kurumayu, Yasu. So that's one of the illustrations that ties up. All four of those cards are illustrated by Koiki Saito. All right, our first V card, it is Espeon V and it's a stunner. I reckon the background could have been a little bit better for this card. I think with all the evolutions, all their V cards, the backgrounds sometimes don't fit exactly. Espeon's an example of it, but Espeon is a cool looking Pokemon, one of the most popular evolutions, so a really cool V card to hit and the ribbon badge behind that. It's a shame really, because ordinarily you can buy loose packs and generally when you buy them from the Pokemon Center Japan, you'll be fine. But yeah, I, I think loose packs generally are kind of tainted out there. And it's just because this is such an in-demand set, people are gonna do anything to get any type of the set in their hands. Yanchamu, Onishizukumo, Furabebe, that one's done by Okacheke, one of the new artists of the TCG. They were also a runner up in the Illustrator Grand Prix from 2019. So really cool to see them get some actual illustrations and be commissioned by Creatures Inc. We've got Aroma no Onesan and Gimo behind that. And what we're also starting to see is the rise and the, I guess the sort of surge of Japanese card collectors in Japan themselves, grading cards with PSA now. So they're actually ripping boxes for a lot of the same reason English card collectors have been for the last year to find super rares, grade them with PSA, and then flog them off. So it just means you kind of got to keep your wits about you with what you buy. We got Maridu, we got Beroba, Kurumayu. All right, first VMAX is Sylveon VMAX and an absolutely lovely card. Sylveon looks really good as a VMAX Pokemon and their Hyper Rare actually looks really cool in this set. It's one of the few Rainbow Rares that I actually think looks decent. A lot of Sword and Shield Rainbow Rares don't look that fantastic. Sun and Moon does it better, but Sylveon got a really good one in this set. So wouldn't mind finding that card. And we got Treasure Energy behind that. The Sylveon Rainbow Red would be cool, but obviously you want to find a special art when you open up boxes of Eevee Heroes because those special arts are ridiculous. We got Sunaba, Zoroa, Nyasu. All right, second rare is Mashado. Really cool card. Behind that, we got Marumine, another really cool card. Should have been a rare, but it doesn't matter. Illustrated by Koiki Saito again. So we're in the middle of like June now, and it is getting harder to find EV heroes in Japan, but there should be a restock coming, I think within like the next week. Mid-June is the second wave of EV heroes. So we should start to see a resupply. Prices of the booster boxes should come down a little bit. After that, I'm not sure how it's gonna play out, to be honest. We got Sunaba. We got Shibishirasu. Himenka, this is a good one for Gossiflua. Menka is the Japanese word for cotton wool and Hime is the Japanese word for princess. So this is like cotton wool princess for Gossiflua and I think it's a pretty cute name. 
we've got behind that, uh, we got a Marumine, another one, and Aroma no Onesan. It's no secret that Eevee Heroes was an absolutely incredibly difficult set to get your hands on. I had to pull basically every string. I've got some friends in Japan that kind of went out of their way to get some for me and I really do appreciate it. But if it wasn't for that, I don't know whether I would have got my hands on the boxes that I've been fortunate enough to open. So I am very grateful to have this set in my hands. We got Eevee alluding to Blue Sky String, which is the next set. We got Battle Bar. Yanchamu, the only fighting type Pokemon in this set. Probably why it looks so pissed off sitting on that wall. Perugian, and behind that we got Snowleaf Badge. It is a relatively small set as well. I think there's only like 59 or 60 actual Pokemon cards in the set. The other nine are training. But there's 32 secret rares, which is insane. We got Esan. Mizugoro, I heard you like Mudkips. We got Goranda. Tsukito Tayo no Badji, and Shiro Desuna. Honestly, I think that many super rares or secret rares is too many, especially when it's only like one super rare per booster box. It's it's impossible. We did the numbers on master setting this and it's not pretty. Kuchito, Mariruri, Shibibiru, Raichu, really cool Raichu card. This one's illustrated by Mitsuhiro Areta. It kind of looks like a lonely Raichu, the way it's drawn, but it's just, it's just regular Raichu. And behind that we got Haha Komori. We went through this last night over at twitch.tv slash okjlove where I do live stream live and we did the numbers and it works out to 2100 AUD to get every special art from EV Heroes. That is insanity. Obviously the Umbreon VMAX special art is the most expensive. It's like 45,000 yen, but if you want to master set this one, good luck. Toburu, Mariruri, Onishizukumo, Raguraji, and behind that we got Ribbon Badge. I really do like this holo. It is a very nice holo. Gen 3 again, some representation. And of course, I do want to try and master set it. And that's because I have been lucky enough to find at least one of the chase cards. There's like three, two, depending on how you look at it. I reckon anything, anything over 10,000 yen is basically a chase card. So there's four cards. I was lucky the other night. So I'm going to try and go for it. All depends on that Umbreon, basically. We got Shizukumo. Mantain. Furabebe. Shiro desuna. This is actually a good one. Shiro is the Japanese word for castle and suna is the Japanese word for sand. Desu is what you say when you're trying to make it out like you can speak Japanese. It's also the gairaigo word for death. So Palace Sand's Japanese name is basically Sand Castle of Death. Behind that we got Dream Ball. Can you guys hear Stitch snoring in the background? Cause she is, she's asleep. Ever so slightly she is snoring. I don't think you'll be able to hear it over the music. God damn she's cute. We got Pikachu, speaking of cute. Kujito, Beroba, Kairosu, the Pinsar, and Dream Ball. But EV Heroes is not a perfect set by no means. They had the opportunity to make it a perfect set. They really did. But they went and screwed it all up. They put two cards in there that they shouldn't. They put Gordy. And they put Gordy Hyper Rare. Basically, if you pull that card, the dream is well and truly over. We got Biriridama, Mizugoro, Zoroa. Gracia V. I really do like this one. I like the illustration and I like how the background is kind of fitting to the Pokemon. So it really helps make the Pokemon sort of pop out. As always, I do say this, the V cards in Japanese are embossed. So the Pokemon illustration pops out just a little bit more. So yeah, a really cool card. This one's done by Five Bun. Behind that, Kairosu. In terms of V and V Max hits, you basically want to be walking away with an Umbreon V and an Umbreon V Max out of every box that you open because those are the two most popular, Umbreon's the most popular evolution but the Umbreon VMAX is highly playable. So you want to get that VMAX whenever you open up a box of this. We got Eisan, Hinbasu, Rotomu. Oh, okay. Looks like it's a, okay, it's a V. Holy crap. Okay, it's a V. It could be a special art, could be a full art. Good news is it's not gaudy. So fingers crossed for a special art V Pokemon. That would help my case considerably. What's it going to be? Is it a full art? Is it? Oh my God, it's Glaceon. Oh my God, it's Glaceon. Wow. Okay, I'm super, super pumped about that. Glaceon V special art. Oh, what a hit. That's fantastic. That is just ridiculous. Such a beautiful illustration on the park bench. I, I don't know what it is about snow or ice type Pokemon. They always put them on park benches and it works. It works perfectly. Wow, so lucky to have landed that. This one's illustrated by Narumi Sato, a really cool card. And it's just so, it's perfect. It really is perfect. I actually think I could realistically master set this. If I pack the Umbreon, I can actually do it. Wowie, what a card. Oh, that's so good. Okay, okay, Jesus. Sheesh. 
Wow, these cards are not easy to hit. They are not easy to hit. I have been incredibly lucky with EV heroes. I'm just thinking my lucky stars. This is why you sacrifice people. You sacrifice for special arts, but that's a stunner. Absolutely stunning. I don't know, I could just tell when I saw the top of the card, I just knew that it was gonna be the special art. So what a banger. From one box, that's a win already. Now sometimes, and I'm not, I don't wanna get greedy. I'm just being real. I'm just saying what can sometimes happen. I have seen it happen a few times. You can find two special arts from the same box. So if you're trying to master set it, you really do wanna be finding a box like that. We got Himenka, Magukargo, Himbasu, Shibirudon and Garuda behind that, the Kangaskhan doing a flying kick. Honestly, I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't a little bit apprehensive about opening up the full EV set, but having hit that Glaceon has made it well and truly worth it. So we got EV, Biriridama, Shizukumo, Gungun Sheku, and Hahakomori. But that's the problem when a set has so many super rares in it that if you want to collect them, you actually can't really viably buy them in signals because as I just said, they're really expensive. Each of the special arts goes for like 6,000, 7,000 yen in Japan. Umbreon and Sylveon are in the upper echelon there. And then you've got like the VMAXs, which are like 10, 20, 30, 40,000 yen. So even if you want to buy this as singles, it's not viable. We got Dobudu, Onishizukumo, Magukarugo, all right, perfect. What a, this is a really solid box. Again, a fantastic box. The Umbreon VMAX. Yeah, it's a card you want to hear. Illustrated by Akira Egawa, who is doing fantastic work. I say this every single time I find an Egawa Sun card. The Blaziken VMAX from Matchless Fighters was another one that was an absolute banger. But yeah, they've gone out of their way again to create this beautiful feet. Beautiful feet Pokemon. There, I said it. I know you were waiting for it. I said it. So there it is. Feet VMAX. Behind that, Gimol. But I know I have been well and truly blessed with this set. I've gotten some really, really fortunate pulls. I think I've opened five boxes so far. And out of five boxes, four of those hits have been special arts. Two Leafeon, Sylveon VMAX out, and just then the Glaceon. So I've been doing pretty well. Pikachu, Goronda, Kurumiru, Makua. You definitely don't want to see that guy as the super rare. And Shibirudon behind that and the Nuzzletoki. Hasn't all been success though. I have also been gaudied. I know what it feels like to hit the gaudy. It doesn't feel good, but the special arts make the pain go away. We got Mariru, Eisan, Kurumayu, Zoroaku, the rare, and behind that we got Furatte. I've still got a couple of VMAX special sets too that I haven't opened yet. Those are tricky to find super rares out of. You shouldn't open those going into them expecting to find super rares because it is basically just like buying eight random packs. You buy those for the VMAX special booster pack inside. Magu Magu, Shibishirasu, Hinbasu, Gungun Sheku and Garuda. Having said that, you can occasionally find super rares out of those. I've seen people on Twitter, and I reckon it's a load of crap, Instagram as well, posting a picture of like three special arts and being like, well, I got all these from one VMAX special set. I mean, I want to see the receipts. I want to see the video. Unless there's a video of that, I won't believe it. We got Magu Magu, Sunaba, Mantain, Booster V, the Flareon V, and another really cool V card. The background is, not gonna lie, it's kind of generic background, but Flareon's breathing fire and I like that. And it's kind of cute. They kind of look cute in this illustration. So a very nice Flareon V and behind that we got Numakuro. Now there is no Flareon VMAX in Eevee Heroes itself. You can only get the Flareon VMAX by buying one of those VMAX special sets. And those go for about two or 3,000 yen, just the card itself. And honestly, I'd recommend not buying them from third party retailers. We got Himenka, the Gossiflua. Biriridama, illustrated by Tomokazu Komiya. Kuchito. Leafia V, the Leafion V, another really cute card. This one is more fitting. The background is really, really cool. Similar to the special art, a lot of foliage, they're in the forest. So it makes sense here for Leafion. This is one of the better V cards from the set. I feel like they did this one really, really well. And elemental badge behind that. I feel like when it comes to funny business with reseals and stuff, the VMAX special set it's the most susceptible to funny business. And it's because it's not shrink wrapped. Like there's no shrink wrap around it. It just stresses me out a little bit. We got Yan Chamu. Shibibiru, Nyasu, Elemental Badge, and Mirokarosu. And it is no secret that you can weigh loose Japanese packs because they do not have a code card in it that distributes the weight, makes it all the same whether it's a rare or not. So you've really got to be careful with products like that, which is a bit of a shame. There's always a couple of bad eggs ruining it for everyone. We got Kurumiru, Mantain, Goronda, Hey, another V card. That's actually a really good ratio of hits. I was not expecting that. Braki V, the Umbreon V, and again, really nice background. It makes sense. They're in a dark alleyway that's fitting for Umbreon. It matches up with their special art. Super subtle. Just if the background matches the Pokemon, it just makes the whole thing look better. Behind that, 
put up there. It's a shame, honestly, because Wang Pax is lame. And I feel like Pokemon Japan and even the Pokemon Company International could do a little bit more to prevent it from being an issue. But they're kind of just sitting on their hands a little bit, which is a shame, honestly. We got Magukargo, Rotomu, Eevee. Entei, I really, this is a really cool Entei card. Entei always gets a rare. I feel like they get a rare pretty much every second or third set. So I like this one a lot. Really cool card. And Minokarosu. I guess the counter argument to all that is that, you know, people could just not weigh packs and then you wouldn't actually have this issue, but that's what people do. And that's why we can't have nice things. We got Magumagu, Pikachu, Doburu, Numakuro, and Fashion Mall. Nothing surprises me anymore. We got Zoroa, Furabebe, Rotomu, Watashiraga, again, that's the second one, and Makua. I don't waste my time with that crap. Honestly, that's just cringe, but you'd be surprised. I mean, you would and you wouldn't be surprised. Like I said, nothing, honestly, nothing surprises me anymore. We got Mizugoro, Kurumiru. I like this one. Kurumi is the Japanese word for walnut. Now, I'm not an expert on these nuts, but I think Sawaddle looks a little bit like a walnut. I don't know, you guys tell me. Look at their head though. I mean, hey, hey, I, I ain't saying nothing. All right, behind that we got Shibishirasu, Perugian, and Fashion Mall. I think I speak for all of us when I say I kind of just can't wait to see the end of the year for Pokemon. The insanity is coming to a bit of an end. Once the 25th anniversary hits, things should cool down. People will stop doing whack stuff. We'll see less weighing. We'll see less funny business with loose packs. And yeah, it will still be a lot of fun. And it's still fun now. It's just, you know, there are elements in the hobby. This EV set is one of them, it being so expensive because of resellers, they kind of bring it down a bit, but in due time, guys, we'll get there. We'll get there together. We got Beroba, Mariru, Sunaba, Gimo behind that, and Marumine to finish it off. I am gonna open up that other box. You know I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna open up it at twitch.tv slash okjlove. Go and throw me a follow. You'll get a notification when I go live. Like and subscribe, leave a comment if you can, please. It does help the channel. But until next time, I'm out of here. See you guys around. <laughs> I'm scared, baby. <laughs>